Hey guys, I'm back. This is Redstone Without Limits. And today we're going to be uh, working on decoders. So, decoders are um, very important for any type of redstone, or large scale redstone build, I should say. Um, so, the idea is to convert something to something else. And, uh,. In this video, we're going to convert decimal numbers, so one, two, three, four, five, uh, up to five, into um, three bit binary. Okay? So, the first step is converting your number or inverting it. And then we're going to put lines over top of these. Uh, these lines here. Each one of these is a bit. Okay. Um, you guys really seem to like that CPU update because it was like, whenever I woke up this morning, it was 128 views. So, uh, you know, I'm almost done with it, so I'll I'll be able to do a final. Okay. Now that we have these. Now the reason we invert it is because it acts like um, kind of like an, a repeater. Oh, I accidentally jumped those. Okay, cool. Okay, for uh, one, we're going to need, well, one. Uh, let me just label these outputs. Okay, so this is our one bit. This is our twos, I guess twos place. And this is our fours place. Okay, um, for two, just two. For three, we do three. And for four, we do four and five. Four and one. So I'm going to show you that this works. So that's one, two, and three, and four. So that works just fine. Um, and you can also convert back the other way. So I'm going to show you that. We're just going to take these lines and convert it. So um, I'm going to have to go out a slight bit. Once again, not clean. Okay. I'm screwing up here. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is we have for binary since um, you can turn three into however many bits you have. Uh, you have to do something a little different. So what we're gonna do is go off like this and place a repeater and then we also need um, the on bit so how this works we're just gonna do an example for three or, or no I guess four works because we're already on the fourth bit okay so um, It's not reaching. Probably gonna have to get repeaters there. And then remove that. Okay, cool. So how this works is basically you have 
a line underneath here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that first. So this would be uh, say your four, for instance. Look a little like this, okay? So this is your on bit. Um, basically, anytime there is a one in the number, then you place a torch. Anytime there is a zero, then you place a torch on this side. So let me just uh, finish this. So the next one is going to look exactly the same. And we're just going to do that. Like so. That's going to go into here. That's going to go here. Now there's a much smaller way, but it can get confusing quickly, especially if you're new to this. This one's um, a lot bigger, so you can see all the circuits. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to just turn on one. Like that, okay. So, um, since there is a one, then we place a torch there. On these other ones, um, we're gonna place a torch on this side, since there's a zero. So, one, zero, zero, or zero, one, one, or zero, zero, one, yeah. Now we could, um, so. Then we place the inverter on this side. So there we have our one. Now if we um, turn on any other one, it doesn't work. And that is because uh, we placed these torches. So you could you could obviously continue on. Um, you could go as far as you wanted, um, but we're not going to do that in this video. Maybe in our CPU we might expand it, or our um, computer that we're going to make. Uh, but this will be the end of this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like it, and if you want to see more, I'm going to be posting videos like this um, almost every day. So go subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.